good day everybody we're here in the main square of Colomna with your friend pointing the right way so la plaza central a few shops around the hardware uh, there was a sport shop and across the street there are some interesting buildings I don't know what exactly they are, but I believe uh, they are official buildings, like this one. If there's nothing written on it, I'll have to ask some of my colleagues. I also found some uh, funny places, I'll show them to you in a minute. And we're going there to the Kremlin, just straight ahead. Yeah, the funny place is actually this uh, cafe, Cafe Deja View. It's actually a coffee and bar. So if you get depressed after your coffee, well, get a drink. And then there's this place called the Passe Partout. No idea what they sell there. And then there's another place farther up the road. No idea what they sell either. They have open air markets. Interesting, it's about 28 Celsius and they still sell uh, fur coats. Uh, maybe they know some snowfall is coming. I'm not aware of it. Uh, I think it's a marketing issue there. Anyway, the Kremlin is the big wall around the city and that is the way it uh, looked. Existing remaining today are the spots in darker color and we will have a view on the ones leftmost. Uh, the tower on the right, the extreme right, I have taken some pictures last winter and I'll make a video at some other point uh, to show you fresher, fresher ideas. Okay, to guard the, the old city, well, you have a guard. Uniform fellow, looks very strict and official, but actually he enjoys the female tourist and taking pictures. <laughs> oh, mister, please. Keep your hands off. Keep your hands off. Okay, sorry about that, I couldn't resist it. So here we are uh, on the street side of the Kremlin. The wall has been rebuilt, heavily rebuilt. I believe this is Mr. Ivan the Terrible or the Great. The last face. This is the other side of the wall. Uh, many, many bricks in the Kremlin of Kolomna. So basically two towers, one north and this one south. And the wall used to continue and go behind the trees there and to this arch I said I was going to make a, another movie out of it. And within the walls you have all these monasteries uh, churches and houses. Oh, what's going on here? No one knows what it's like to be the bad man, to be the sad man behind the blue eyes. No one knows what it's like. To be hated. Cute little Russian brat. Uh, again, another view of this wall. I have been told you can go inside and visit and have. I don't know how to do this, and, and since my Russian is non existent, uh, it will be difficult to find out. A little piece of wall connected to the north tower.
And what I find interesting is the, the old houses. Within these walls, they have sort of preserved, uh, reconstructed, and people live in them uh, today. All wooden, with uh, quite, quite interesting work outside, and funny colors. Another view. On this spot I found a, a funny picture, uh, the old picture of this street. And the street is actually called uh, Ulica La Ries. La Ries Nikova. Pardon for my uh, my Russian. I have a hard time reading this funny language. And there was this kind of drunken monja, nun, saying something very rude. My God, she's growing hormones, eh? But everybody thought that was hysterically funny. More of these houses. Too bad they kept these electric posts and cables hanging around. Not very pretty sight. They could have done a bit better than that. And again this church. There's a cafe actually just there on the left. Uh, it's it's a cafe restaurant. It's quite pleasant. And more of these wooden houses. And more shots of the houses. Notice the windows how nicely they are carved and the pictures the of the old city uh, and you can see uh, some of the reconstruction going on you see there i believe that's the north tower so the wall was pretty much damaged and they rebuilt it uh, for for the tourism okay and remember uh, he's showing us the way he may be right i don't know goodbye